Hello and welcome my favorite movement enthusiasts to today's session of advanced hip mobility. And because it is an advanced hip mobility session, we're gonna start out directly in the deep squat, meaning half of you will already not be able to join us. If you are not part of the joining us group, then check out this video so you'll learn how to get into a deep squat so you can do some stuff that we're also doing. Now, for the very first exercise, we are gonna start out, as I said, in a deep squat position. Now, if your heels raise, that is okay. That is not too bad. However, it would be very beneficial if we can put our feet fully on the ground. We're gonna bring our hands behind our head for some extra core engagement. And we're gonna start out with knee touches to the middle, switching it up from the right side to the left side. Now, we're only gonna do a handful of repetitions for every single exercise, meaning now we're gonna move on to exercise number Number two, crossing over left with right and right with left. Now, the more upright you stay in your upper body, the harder the exercise is going to be, the more core engagement you have and the more hip flexor strength you are going to build. Now, don't forget that we're going through the motions in our ankles, knees and hips. So this is basically a lower body mobility session you can work on pretty much every single day. Now, let's go into some internal and external rotation combinations like so. Sitting up, we're going to use our core and hip flexor strength, roll over our foot, switch it up to the other side, bring our leg down on one and on the other side. And then we're going to repeat this whole process for every side two full times to the right side to the left side and one more time for good measure to the right because we're going to increase the intensity of this exercise once more increasing our range of motion going into full lumbar rotation and into a spinal erector as well as gluteal stretch by bringing our head towards our left knee and then we're going to reverse this whole thing use our core and hip flexor strength turn to the other side internal external rotation head towards the ground for lumbar rotation and spinal erector stretch and move it up again a second time for the other side and we're adding the tiniest bit of thoracic flexion by rounding our upper back moving on to the right side and we're going to add one more rotation for each side just so we have a little bit more of a strength endurance component there you go setting it up again and we're going through all the motions in a single workout meaning no breaks in between starting out with our level one hip thrust pulling in repeating the level number one hip thrust a second time and now we're gonna move on to level number two hip thrust push forward and lean back as much as we can we want to have a nice little stretch in our hip flexors in our abdominals in our quadriceps and we need that flexion in our lower spine for additional back strength so let's go for a second repetition bring your knees down push your pelvis forward lean back as much as you can stretch out your entire anterior chain and reverse for a third and final repetition there you go and back up again move one leg outward because we're going to switch it up from our deep squat starting position into a cossack squat starting position we're going to push our hips down actively and we're going to switch from one side to the other now this is only half the range of motion to increase range of motion for this one we're going to move sideways and go into full contact legs and knee as well and you can again use your core and hip flexor strength to pull your leg up move your upper body forward switch to the other side sit down all the way and repeat the process and just so you don't catch yourself cheating i want you to bring your hands behind your head one more time this way even if you wanted to cheat you can't let's go for a second repetition on the left side move on to a second repetition on the right side and surprise surprise we're going to do a third one for both sides once to the left once to the right full contact and we're going to move back to the middle 
push your hips downward bring your upper body into a straight line and we're gonna open up those hip joints for our first and only static exercise today now you're gonna have to hold tension in your quads your hamstrings or your biceps femoris your glutes your spinal erectors and core basically everything starting here downwards so we can stay upright and open up those hips you can even push forward just a tiny bit if you have pain in your hip joint that is a good sign to move back and relax a little bit we don't want to overdo it now that we've done our first and only static stretch we're gonna move back into an open position and we're gonna add to the cossack through full lumbar rotation once more pushing our hip forward which means that we need to flex once more our lower back and our glutes and our biceps moving up again we're not gonna cheat with our hands up here we're gonna bring them here switch it up move to the other side sit down go into full lumbar rotation push our hip forward for a nice little stretch in our hip flexors and we're going to repeat one more time for both sides so we're sitting here we're bringing our leg up and moving our upper body forward go into a full rotation pull further into the rotation push your hip forward and switch it up one more time there you go full range of motion or so you think because we're going to increase it one more time and it's going to be really exhausting so let's move to the other side and instead of bringing our hand down only we want to bring our lower arm down as well and push our hip up now if you do have the mobility with your hands we want to bring our fingertips all the way to the ground we have a nice little stretch in our hip flexors our latissimus our arms our quadriceps we have some nice rotation in our knee and in our ankle joint and we're gonna move it forward like so switch it up now i'm just gonna switch positions here so you can see it from a side view we're going to bring our hand back and instead of pushing forward like we did before we're going to bring our elbow down extend our arm and push our hip upwards now we're going to repeat this three more times in total so we have two full repetitions for both sides there you go rep number two Rep number three, and you might have noticed that this time, instead of using my core, I am actually helping with my hands. I'm only doing that because I'm really exhausted. It's like 100 degrees out here. You don't do that. I can see what you're doing. All right, so let's switch it up, move to the other side, bring our elbow down, push our hip forward, and pull our arm into a full length extension for our deltoids, and switch it up a final time to the other side. There you go. Now we've basically gone through all the more middle level to advanced exercises for basically you can use this as a deep squat mobility routine. You can use this as your leg strength and endurance routine because we have a lot of combination between strength, endurance and mobility in this one. Or you can use it as a standalone. You can even just take some of these exercises, incorporate them in your own training. I really don't care as long as you do it because it's good for you and it's good for me with that said sadly that's all the time i have left for you today if you like the video like the video and subscribe because we have new videos every single day on this channel captain cairo peace out